Well, so today's video is going to be about the Gerbing heated clothing and how you wire it in and what controller you use. There's a few different configurations and it all depends on what heating clothing you have. So what we'll do, we'll start with this pack. So when you order Gerbing heated clothing, you get this pack. And inside the pack, there's some instructions, there's some fuses in there. So this is the cable you get. So you've got positive and negative terminals. This is where you put the fuse. That goes direct to the motorcycle battery. And this is what we feed into. So that's our power supply from the bike. So if we put that there, you then get this Y cable. So it's a cable with two connectors on. Now this can be used for the gloves or for the socks. And I'll demonstrate the setup, what you would use. Right, so there is also available the double controller and there's the single controller. I'll show you the difference with them and what the setup is you'll use. Right, so these are the Gerbing heated motorcycle gloves. So the gloves have got the controllers built into the gloves themselves. So these are the only item of heated clothing what doesn't require the controller. All the other items will need the controller. So if you've just got the gloves, all you would need to do is run this white piece wire through your jacket. So each one of these wires comes out your sleeve. So you'd have these coming out there and then coming out there. And then all you do is plug the gloves in. And then this bit will be sticking at the bottom of your jacket. And then you just plug that into the power supply to the bike. And then you just control the gloves with these buttons. So that's it. Those are the only gloves with the controller built in. So what we will have then is if you have the socks. So here's the heated socks. Heated socks have got the connectors at the front of the sock. That's how the sock is on your foot. There's the connector on the front of the shin. So what you will need to do with the heated socks is this wire that goes down your sleeve, you will feed this down your trousers. So it'll come down each leg, plug the sock in, plug the sock in, and then this will come out to the top of your trousers on the waistband. And again, that's where the power supply goes. Now the socks have got no controller, so they will need a controller. So let's have a look at the single controller first. So this is the single controller. You've got five settings to turn the heat up. So the controller plugs into the power supply from the bike. So there's the power. That's plugged in. And then when, what we've got then is we've got this connector. Plug it into the white connector. And then what you can do then, you then control the heat for the socks. What you've got on the controller is a blue connector. So this is for the gloves. So if you order the socks and the gloves, you'll get um, these white cables for, hit, for each of them. So what you would do then is you would plug the same white piece the other one you've got, you plug that one through your jacket and you plug that into that one. Now what the blue one does, if you can see the wire, the gloves cannot be plugged into the controller. So the gloves, which is this wire, bypasses the controller and just goes straight to the power feed. Because if you remember, the gloves have got their own controller. So all this glove does is 
takes the power source. It completely bypasses the controller. So then you would plug the gloves into there, control the gloves on your wrist, and then this button would control the heat of the trousers. Okay, so let's say you've got the heated jacket. This is the premium heated jacket. So the premium heated jacket, the jacket is already wired up. So out of each sleeve, you've got this wire coming out. So what you would do, you could tuck those, you could zip them up and tuck the wires in there if you're using just the heated jacket alone. So how that would work is with the single controller, Here's a single controller. Power source going to the bike. And then here, coming out the bottom of the jacket, you've got three cables. The white one says jacket. The yellow one is accessory. And the blue one is the gloves. So that blue one is the one what's going to the sleeves. So if you was using just the jacket, you would put the white to the white, jacket to jacket, Plug that into the bike and then you just use this controller to change what level setting you want on the jacket. So if you had the gloves, there's the blue, you would plug the blue to the blue. That's bypassing the controller. So that's now enabled power to these. So if we get the gloves. So that's one glove plugged in. That's the other glove. So what we would do then is the controller, we control the jacket and the same again on the gloves. We use the buttons to control the gloves. Now what we've got then is we have got an accessory port. So we've got the gloves. We've got the jacket. So let's add the trousers so here's the heated trousers if i bring them up like that there's the wiring coming out the zip for the heated trousers so it says jacket so what you can do you can plug these into the jacket so now we've got the gloves the jacket and the trousers and all that's working on the single controller. Now what will happen with the single controller is whatever, if you set this onto setting three, so the jacket's on setting three, what it will do, the trousers will be on setting three. So this is only a single controller. So whatever you're setting this to, both items will be that same setting. Gloves are completely independent. So we don't have to worry about the gloves. And then what we've got here at the bottom of the trousers, is these little zips and out of these little zips is where we plug the socks in so if we've got the socks there we go we plug the sock into that one we plug the sock into that one now what will happen with this setup is again we've got the jacket coming to the controller We've got the trousers plugged into the accessory and we've got the socks plugged into the trousers. So it's a bit of a daisy chain. Socks go to the trousers, trousers go to the jacket, jacket goes to the controller. Gloves, completely independent. So socks to trousers, trousers to jacket, jacket to controller. So in this setup, so I'm again, if I have this on setting three, the jacket will be on setting three the trousers will be on setting three and the socks will be on setting three. So they're all on the same setting. Now what we can do, we can use the dual controller. So what we do now is we get two, two banks what we control. So we could say, I will have the jacket on this controller and then what we could do is we could say, and I'll have the trousers and socks on this controller. 
So with that set up, I can have the jacket on number three, but I can have the socks and the trousers on number two. And that's the setup I use because I find the jacket is that warm. I need the jacket on a lot lower setting than what I have the trousers and the socks. So I normally have the trousers on two and I'll have the trousers, sorry, I have the jacket on two and I'll have the trousers on the socks on three. Or what we could do then, the other alternative is we could plug the trousers into the jacket. So they're then using this feed. So the jacket and the trousers then will be on that controller. So whatever we set them to, if I set the jacket to three, the trousers will be three. We could then use the Y wire, which come with the socks. And instead of wiring the socks into the trousers, we could wire the socks up to come out the top and put the socks in this one. So we'd have the socks on their own. The gloves will be on their own. There's the feed for the gloves. And then the trousers and the jacket will be together. Or we could bypass the trousers and have just the socks and the jacket on. So you've got quite a few different combinations there. So that's the difference between the dual controller and the single controller. Both of them have the outlet for the gloves. The same again with this one. The gloves, as you can see there, it bypasses the controller. The glove just goes straight to the power supply and we control the gloves. That's a few different combinations you can use to set your heated clothing.